Hi guys, Amy here again. This time we're doing a partial recipe. The recipe is actually steamed banana puddings with honey, ginger, cream and glaze. Today I'm just making the puddings and I will reheat them for the kids for dessert. A couple of accessories I want to show you quickly. The first one is our trivet. This one is $9.95 in the mix shop and it fits perfectly in the bottom of your aroma dish. So I personally think this is a great investment. It helps keep your meat or your puddings or your cakes up so that the air can circulate and that way things cook very nice and evenly. Um, I will be using that one today and I'm using it with our round seven hole silicon um, tray. This one also fits beautifully into the bottom of your Varoma dish. Um, I'm gonna put it on the trivet today so I won't be using the tray for our six hole silicon. Um, both of these silicones come in a grey or the orange. This one fits beautifully on the tray. So you can actually cook with them both, but I just, today we're using the dish, not the tray. Um, the other thing to note when you're cooking in, cooking puddings and things in your aroma is that you may want to put a piece of baking paper if you've got it over the top. Um, just to stop that condensation dripping smack in the middle and giving you a, a really soggy cake center. All right, so let's get started. Um, start. Okay, so I've just spoken to you about the trays. I have some um, coconut cooking spray here. So I'm just gonna use that to quickly give this a little spray just so that things don't stick quite so badly. That's it. And next. So, we've got unsalted butter cubes. Just in little pieces. We'll pop that in. I'll have that sitting out for a little bit just so it softens. Um, brown sugar. I didn't have dark brown, I've just got brown. And we're going to put the lid on and basically we're creaming the butter and sugar. Okay, now we're going to add three eggs. And as I've said in other videos, I personally like to crack into a cup. Um, it just saves you accidentally putting in a, a rotten egg um, or one that's been fertilized accidentally. You can happen to have access to fresh eggs from somebody's yard, um, which I do. So I always crack into a cup. Um, you also don't want those shells in your cake butter. So, Tip for you. It's two eggs. Okay. Pop our lid back on, and we're going to mix it. Okay. Here's our spatula. Now this isn't a thermomix spatula. It's just what I had available. I've been doing a bit of cooking today, so use what you've got, people. Next, we're going to add some milk, 70 grams of milk going in on top there. Now, it says 200 grams of banana breaking into pieces. Mine are super ripe, so we'll see how we go. If anything, this just might be a little bit sweeter um, because bananas get sweeter the more ripe or overripe they become. A bit extra, that's okay. Next, self-raising flour. Remember, if you don't have self-raising flour, you can use plain flour and add baking powder to it. That's what I do, because I only keep one of flour. Um, it was more than that. Okay, now that popped off with 160, so I'm just going to pull the scales up and chop that up a little bit. An extra 40. There we go. Mix 
mixing bowl lid, and the measuring cup, and it's going to mix it all together for 20 seconds. All right, let's have a look. See. Ah, that looks better. Okay. So it says to divide between silicon molds. Uh, as I said, I'm just going to do the seven hole, uh, which is the round one today. Um, that way you'll be able to see through the top how this looks. Okay, so I'm just going to pour this in. And because I'm at home today, I've got both of my machines out. I actually have a second bowl that I'm going to use rather than worrying about the mixture that's in this bowl. I'm just going to put my other bowl on to do the steam. Yeah. That way I don't have to get this out, put it back into molds later on. So, pop that down. I'm not doing the piece of banana on the top. Um, I haven't got that many bananas and mine are so soft that they're just gonna turn brown and look nasty anyway. So, nice clean bowl, 500 grams of water is already in there. We pop our lid on, take our measuring cup out, put the Varoma into place. Now remember I have the trivet in and then the Mix the, the silicon tray with the mixture in it. Tidy that up a touch. Um, now I haven't completely filled these, they will rise a little bit. Um, and I just want you to be able to see that through the top. So we're gonna put it on our lid. And you can see this here is where the um, condensation sinks down to. So that middle cake might go a bit soggy, um, but that's okay. Um, so 18 minutes, and we will have lovely things. So we're back. Okay, I just want to have a look and I'm going to remind you just to tilt backwards away from you when you're actually opening the door and the lid because you don't want all that steam coming into your face. So there's our puddings. Have a look at that. How amazing do they look? So I'm just going to ignore the yelling children. Grab this one down. And I'll tilt this so you can see what I'm doing. These actually have two little handles, so you can just lift this out, like so. Alright, so I'm going to let them cool a little bit before I pop them out. And in the meantime, I'm going to chop up my water and cook these ones. Um, that way we've got them all done. Um, I just find that cooking them as two separate ones, you never quite know how much these are going to rise, so I didn't want them pushing on the bottom and sticking to the tray. Anyway, these are our lovely, um, 
our lovely banana puddings. Um, I will take some photos and pop them up when we go to eat them. All right, bye guys.